Twitter is a great medium for dialogue. Dialogue with people you otherwise wouldn't be able to talk to. So all heads of all sorts of organizations should jump on board, right? And of course, the heads of the biggest industry in the world, the automotive industry, should make use of Twitter, right? But they don't. There's no European automotive CEO actively engaging on Twitter, except Dr. Karl Thomas Neumann at Opel Vauxhall. In a campaign to turn the brand around, he's the only CEO of all long-standing European car manufacturers who opens up on Twitter. He talks to people, and he's doing it himself at work. After work, on Sundays and from behind the scenes. After just one week, Dr. Neumann had a thousand followers. Great. One week on Twitter as Opel Vauxhall CEO and already 1,000 followers. Thank you. And it doesn't end with tweeting. Dr. Neumann wants people to come as close as possible. So at the IAA 2013, he invited 15 of his followers to join him for a private tour of the Opel booth. He showed how he tweets and enjoyed his tweet being displayed on the Twitter wall at the Opel booth. During his IAA press conference, he invited everybody to follow him on Twitter as well. Unter Edgar Neumann gebe ich Ihnen Einblicke in meinen Tagesablauf bei Opel und ich lade Sie herzlich ein, mir dort zu folgen. It's a level of closeness none of Dr. Neumann's competitors can achieve. This fact was also noticed by hundreds of blogs and media outlets around the world. Opel Vauxhall remains the only European manufacturer having a CEO active on Twitter and will continue to be approachable during all steps along the way.